What's going on, people? And welcome back to Word on the Corner. You understand? We're back again. Yeah. You see me? We're back again, blood. You understand? I see you lot calling for it in the comments. Yo, troops, bring back Word on the Corner. Da 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 da. We need that old school troops vibe. You get me? You lot are just used to the watch alongs and the pod. You get me? And you don't want the old school. That, 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 that intimate vibe, blood, where it's just me and you, blood. You get me? No jet ski, no czar, just me and you lot, blood. You get me? Like that like, like old time, do you feel me? So, you get me? Let's get straight into word on the corner, blood. You understand? My mum's in the background. You understand? I told her to shut the window, mute the TV. But obviously, she forgot to turn her phone on silent, blood. You understand? So, mum, is, is the phone on silent now? Because, you get me? Word on the corner. I have word on the corner. And I need to give people the information that I've got from the corner, blood. Obviously, man, it's not Babylon. I don't have informers and anything there, but you understand, mum, you have word from the con. So can I proceed with this, mum? I can proceed. She gave me the thumbs up. She don't want to say, say, you know what? Talk, yeah? You just want to beep. We have WhatsApp. Yeah? Beep. You see it there? All right. We have a comedian in the building to, uh, today, people, for, for, for today's first episode of Word on the Corner, blood. Now, obviously, man has word from that corner. Now, Obviously, um, um, Emmy Buendia, uh, we all thought uh, we was in uh, for a chance at getting uh, the Argentine. But our former player, Emmy Martinez, um, who is his fellow country, uh, countryman, I believe they are away together now, uh, playing for Argentina in the Copa America. Um, Emmy has convinced Buendia to join Aston Villa, blood. Now... Arsenal Football Club have been out-muscled by Aston Villa, blood. You understand? Now, it, it just shows you the state of affairs in the club at this moment in time. It is a fucking jolting, blood. You understand? How, how are we getting outbid and out-muscled by Aston Villa, blood? You get me? And they have secured uh, Buendia's services. Uh, Fabrizio Romano gave the here we go uh, a bit earlier today. And he, comp he confirmed that Buendia will join... Aston Villa uh, from Norwich City um, until June 2026, uh, 34 million plus add-ons as a final fee. Um, Arsenal are already apparently looking at uh, different targets. Uh, we've heard rumours about uh, Basuma. Uh, we've heard rumours about Ruben Neves. Now, apparently contact has been made um, uh, from Arsenal, uh, we have reached out to Wolves uh, and we've asked if they are willing uh, to sell uh, Ruben Neves and apparently they are willing to sell uh, because Wolves have to sell big uh, if they want to spend big blood, you understand? Now, people, I'm not sure uh, about this um, Ruben Neves thing. For me, he's just Xhaka on steroids blood, you understand? He's just got a better shot than Xhaka. My mum's laughing. You understand? I, th I think she likes that. Um, that that. What's the word? That that comparison of the players' blood. Literally, mum. It's it's like we're getting a brother jack out on steroids, blood. You get me? Donny can shoot. You understand? But it's still it's still gonna be the same bullshit in the team, blood. You get me? Like it's it's still gonna be the same bullshit going on. Uh, for me, we need to get better uh, players than that. Uh, for me, Basuma. Is the one we need to be going for. Uh, apparently, the Brighton man wants uh, to join Arsenal. Um, he's been pictured uh, with Arsenal shirts around him um, on uh, vacation. Um, but uh, no move has uh, yet been made for uh, Basuma. Uh, pictures came out as well uh, of Leicester defender Wesley Fofana uh, wearing an Arsenal uh, jersey. But it was just a banter thing, blood. You get me? There's nothing serious uh, to look into. Um, Leslie Fofana said he was tricked uh, by his friend while away in Dubai. And he posted on his Instagram, OK, mates, I've been tricked by some former friends wearing an Arsenal jersey. I played a football game, brackets, as a coach, I cannot run, close bracket, uh, with some friends. And at the end, we exchanged jerseys. I have been photographed in what I thought was my private sphere. Um, I had obviously no thinking that what was a friendly game and joke will end up in social networks. I feel sorry for our fans and angry against the guys that have uh, sized, I think he meant seized, uh, the opportunity to make this bad buzz. 
Sorry for all Arsenal friends. I have strictly no problem with the red, but only the blue is in my heart. So obviously Fafana and Saliba were together at, um, what was it, St. Etienne? Um, and he has basically come out and said that he will not uh, be moving to Arsenal and has squashed um, this rumour and he feels a bit betrayed, blood. You understand? He feels a bit betrayed and, and I, I kind of agree with him, blood. You get me? They kind of lined him up, you understand? And, and they got the clicks they wanted, but he came out and, and he squashed that rumour, blood. Um, other news, um, Gini Wijnaldum, um, obviously the former Liverpool man, he left Liverpool at the end of the season, um, contract expiring. Um, he has decided to join PSG. Uh, the proposed uh, contract is until 2024, uh, where his day, his wages will be doubled um, as well. Pochettino. Now, obviously, Tottenham, um, they've been trying to get a new manager in. Um, obviously, they're not going to move forward with Ryan Mason. They sat Mourinho. Um, Conte batted them up. I think he saw that Chiellini video when he was like, it is in the history of the Tottenham to not make it to the the winning finale, you know? Maybe he saw that video, bro, you understand? And he told the man that Tagaya got your blood clot bed. Pochettino, um, there was uh, talks between PSG and Tottenham over Pochettino, but um, Fabrizio Romano has reported that Pochettino will not be leaving PSG despite talks with Tottenham. Um, he was apparently directly involved in the Genie Wijnaldum transfer uh, to PSG. Um, he called um, Wijnaldum several times uh, to get the job done. And they even met in 2016 because apparently Poch wanted him uh, when he was at Tottenham uh, back in 2016. Donnarumma. Now, obviously, we know about Donnarumma. He's going through madness with his contracting. Uh, we don't know what is going on. But uh, Fabrizio Romano, here we go again. He's dropping all of them uh, recently. He says, we'll decide his future in the next days. Uh, Barca's priority is the pie now um, and not the goalkeeper situation. Testegen is also staying um, at Barcelona. Um, PSG met with Ra uh, uh, Raiola uh, for Donnarumma. Uh, Keenan's Abby Sivens a few days ago and still are in the race. Um, so are Juventus as well, Vlad. So a lot of people chasing uh, Donnarumma's signature. Um, obviously, Arsenal ain't chasing him, Vlad, because we got fuck all there, Vlad. We got Stan Kroenke, mate. You understand? So... You get me, but we'll probably be chasing some League 2 fucking defender and centre-back and, and goalkeeper, blood. You get me? Um, Kevin De Bruyne. Now, for me, world-class player, you get me great ability, but um, I, I cannot believe he has been voted uh, the PFA Players Player of the Year. Um, De Bruyne picked up the award the last night. Um, I cannot believe he's picked up the award. Um, it it pains me to say it, but you get me? That scumbag down the road... He, he should have got it this year. You get me? He was top goal scorer, top assist maker. So for me, you get me? That was the wrong uh, choice. Uh, Phil Foden, um, he also picked up his award for uh, the Players PFA Young Player uh, of the Year award. Um, I think that one, you could say, is deserving. You get me? He's won the league title. He got to the Champions League final. He won the Carabao Cup. He done the double. You get me? And he's had a good season this year. He scored in big games as well for Man City, um, home and away. You get me? So, you know, so I think that one is uh, deserved. Um, the PFA Team of the Year um, was also released. Um, they have gone with Edison in goal, Jao Cancelo, Stones, Ruben Diaz and Luke Shaw as the back four. Gundogan, Bruno and Kevin De Bruyne are in the midfield. Um, Sun, Salah and Harry Kane is down the middle. Now, I don't even get that, bro, because they put Kane down the middle, but then they don't want to give Kane the um, Player of the Year award. It is what it is, blood. I don't really care that he lost it as well, blood, but I just think that it was a bit of a fuckery. I just thought I'd get that in there, blood. Uh, Skodro Mustafi. Um, now, um, an Arsenal fan commented on his post, um, an Instagram post, and uh, Mustafi replied to the comment, and he said, Arsenal will be very soon... Arsenal will very soon be where they belong. Trust the process. Hello, fucking hell, blood. And trust the coach. He is phenomenal. Man said he's phenomenal, blood. I, I, I don't know what he's smoking in Germany, blood. You get me? But I'd love to know what he's smoking. Because he could get me a bit of that, blood. You understand? Rumours came out today as well. That Pep 
uh, wants to sign both Jack Grealish and Harry Kane this summer. Now, you already know that uh, City will go again um, after losing the Champions League final. Um, they're definitely going to want to win that. Obviously, Aguero has left. He has joined uh, Barcelona. So they are looking for a striker. Uh, Harry Kane does fit the bill. Uh, he already said that he wants to leave Tottenham this year. Uh, but we'll find out what's going to happen with that situation. Obviously, with the new manager um, coming in at Tottenham, we don't know who he's going to be. We'll see if they can convince Kane um, to stay. Hopefully, they can't. Hopefully, he fucks off. Um, and finally, uh, Leicester City are in advanced talks to sign um, Odson Edouard from Celtic. Uh, many clubs are also interested, so Leicester are keen to secure it quickly. Um, they are not yet at the signing stage, uh, but Leicester, the, uh, the Leicester board are confident of getting the deal done. Uh, Samar, uh, the Samari deal, uh, obviously the, the little player, uh, that is done and confirmed um, as reported by that guy again, blood, Fabrizio Romano. And that's all we have for today, people. You understand? There was a bit of fake news as well. Um, apparently, Partey was dropped, or should I say sacked from the Ghana uh, camp. Apparently, he turned up two days. Um, apparently, he turned up late. I don't know how late. Um, but apparently, uh, Chris Wheatley, uh, well, not apparently, Chris Wheatley, Chris Wheatley has reported that it's fake news and he was uh, at the Ghana camp. And the reason he has left the Ghana camp is um, he was given permission to be excused uh, from the Ghana camp uh, and that was reported by at the Nanaba you get me uh, she's verified as well blood so she must be a journalist out in GH that's what we got for you today people you understand big up everyone that watched the video make sure you like make sure you share and make sure you subscribe shout out mum for having a cameo today you get me she will not be having no cameo tomorrow you understand I'll make sure of that but you lot already know until tomorrow Man's out.